Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. I'm sitting in front of our new project, uh, our eight unit conversion in High Park. And the demo guys are done for the most part. They're about 80% done. So I wanted to walk everybody through the property and show you post demolition what this property looks like. It has changed a lot in four or five weeks. So I wanted to kind of take you in, show you what's happening. Uh, it's really nice to see the property all opened up because you can tell where the original structure is, where they added things on, where they chopped things up. Uh, the demo guys didn't take out a lot of interior walls because uh, we want to make sure that structurally the building is still sound. Uh, so you'll see pretty much uh, just the, the finishes removed and uh, what's left for, for the uh, framing. Uh, we've removed most of the electrical wiring. Um, so I wanted to just kind of show you around and, and give you an idea of what's going on. Before we get into the video today, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get in there and I'll show you around. You guys ready for the big reveal? Whoa, <laughs> things have changed a lot in here. If you remember, as you walked in here, there was kind of a, a vestibule on the right-hand side here. There was uh, some mail stacked and everything that this rad that would said that's right here was sitting to the, to the right of me. There was a hallway that divided up the space. In this area here, there was um, a random sort of laundry room and there was some built-ins along this wall. We actually discovered a fireplace behind this wall and uh, we took the fireplace apart, at least the first layer so that we can frame up against that wall, flush mount the framing, and then we can insulate in this cavity here and get everything uh, looking like one flat wall. As you can see, everything has been pretty much removed here. All of the framing has been stripped out. You can see on the other side, this was um, there was some built-ins here. There was a big fireplace as well. That's all been removed. I love seeing these old chimney flues and uh, you can see the soot that's built over the years. That chimney flue goes all the way up and uh, this is why they have chimney fires sometimes because you can see that soot, it uh, catches fire. On the other side, you'll see this um, heating pipe. That's the boiler, uh, the vent for the boiler from downstairs. So they would have run that in the chimney at some point over the years when they switched over to a more high efficient furnace. So. Everything's been stripped out of this room now. Uh, the thing that's left is we still haven't dealt with the pocket door because we want to make sure that we preserve that and save that. So that's still in the wall. But everything else uh, on this level has really been opened up. So where I'm standing right here, there was, a, there was a dividing wall that went down this hallway. This was the room with all of the wood paneling in it. And we tried to save uh, some of the wood paneling. It's out in the garage, actually. But um, the rest of this room was completely demolished. There was a wall right here. There was actually that old closet that was here. The closet that was here was added. Um, obviously, this was opened up at some point by the previous owners when they did the addition, but that was a wall that was there. And this is where that wood paneling was and all of the old uh, doors and trim and stuff have been saved and we're hopefully going to be able to reuse them or sell them. And this was a little hallway here that came down. There was a bathroom to the right here. Uh, there was a big vanity that we couldn't get out in one piece, so we had to kind of chop it up and take it out. And then as you come down here, there was another little hallway section, and this was entering into the kitchen. And the kitchen's all been removed and got it out. And now we're back to this sort of open space. When you look back to the front door, this would have been pretty much the layout of the original house. And you can really see how open the main floor would have been. Uh, really nice open layout. And then whoever chopped it up and made it into the seven illegal apartments um, would have done all that additional work. So as you can see, most of this now is the, the old framing, the original framing of the house. There's really no new framing uh, that's left here, which tells me that this is pretty much how the house was laid out in the beginning when uh, before the addition was put on. So this main floor right now is kind of as is. The back section of the main floor was an addition at some point, so they would have blown out the brick walls here and done this addition. Um, this whole addition is coming off and it will be redone. So we're gonna use the space, but um, you can see the different levels here. 
We're actually gonna bring this up to the same level as the main floor and make it all one level. And we're doing an addition off the back. So this is gonna be extended about 10 feet off the back plus the walkout. This is probably something done in the 70s or the 80s. Um, and then you walk back into the old section of the, uh, of the original house. But let me take you upstairs and show you around on the second floor. This was the stairwell that led to the second floor. Still intact, we're gonna use it for a little while um, until we can get everything sorted out with a new staircase. But as you came up the stairs previously, there was um, a couple doors here separating out everything. And now again, we couldn't remove most of this framing because a lot of it is picking up structure from above. So there was um, this weird <laughs> two bathroom thing here, if you remember. There was a shower here, and then as you came around, there was a toilet on the other side. So you can kind of see what's going on now. That's all been opened up, but you can really see on this floor the difference between the new framing and the old framing. So this new framing obviously was put in at some point. You can see that the floor joists were sistered because they're sagging from above because they didn't structure this properly. Everything has been doubled up, tripled up in some cases. Um, and you can see they did that to try to level out the ceiling and maybe put in some extra support, but it's really not working all that well. So essentially all of this framing on the second floor, it's all coming out. We're gonna take every piece of framing out and we're gonna redo the floor structures here on the second floor. This fireplace is the only one that's remained so far, but we will take this out eventually. But we need to be able to saw cut along here so that we can remove the brick um, without damaging the exterior brick as well. And if you see over here, um, I actually wired some temporary lighting for each floor. We reused the panel from upstairs and we just put in some 20 amp receptacles on each floor so that the guys can charge their tools and run any powered equipment that they need. But the, the power in the whole house has been basically shut down. Uh, all the wiring has been pulled on every floor. There was tons of knob and tube in here and uh, that's all been removed now. And so uh, basically we have no electricity, we have no heat. Um, it's really just the, uh, the structure and um, now we get to put it back together. This was the old kitchen that was back here. Uh, the step down here. So we sold uh, some of the kitchens, we sold uh, all the appliances, so we were able to recoup a little bit of money here. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna pay for the reno. This is kind of the second floor. There's, um, again, you can kind of see the old framing versus the new framing. It uh, looks like this section on this side wasn't touched a lot. You can tell that by the, uh, the floor joists that are still intact and these old framed walls. And then you kind of get into the section where they chopped it up and tried to mess with the structure a little bit. But let me take you upstairs and show you the third floor. Here's the third floor. There was a weird little mirror thing here. And then there was a bathroom right here that all got demoed. And there was another bedroom or another room over here, I guess. And then this was kind of just open space. There was a kitchen on that wall there. And then there was a fireplace in the corner. So all that's been ripped out. Uh, all of this insulation in here has been ripped out. And basically now everything's opened up right to the peak. And we're gonna take this whole floor off. So everything on this floor will be coming down. So the gable wall here will be coming down. This gable wall will also be coming down, but we're gonna try to save some of the brick because we're gonna need to patch in some windows and doors on the exterior. So we wanna try to match that brick. But essentially this whole area is gonna come off um, and we're gonna redo the whole floor system here as well. So everything that's on this floor will soon be removed once we've uh, done our underpinning. So that's the main floor, second floor and third floor. Let me take you downstairs now, show you the basement and what's going on down there, the basement has also seen a large transformation and we'll show you what it looks like now. Before, this was the only way to get to the basement was from the exterior and you had to go through this door and then down the stairs. And the reason we were able to eliminate that stairwell is because we can get to the basement now 
from inside the house. This stairwell would have connected the basement and the main floor when this was a single family dwelling. So we'll keep this stairwell as long as we can as well. But now we're in the basement and you can see this was the addition um, tied in probably like I say in the 70s or 80s. That would have been the original foundation wall there. And um, this section was added on. And this was where the old kitchen was. So there was a kitchen back here in this corner. Now this has all been removed. And now you can see the basement has been completely opened up. There was a faux brick wall here and that's been taken down. The demo guys still have a little bit of cleanup to do. There was a bathroom here. <laughs> And there was two bathrooms back to back, actually. So that's where the other bathroom was back there. And then as I mentioned earlier, this is where you came in uh, in the old entrance, came down here. This was one little apartment back here, if you remember. This has all been opened up and stripped back to the brick. And then this area uh, was cut off. There was a little hallway here and you came into the laundry room and the utility room. Danny, who's our partner on this project, has been busy removing the, the rads and the boiler, uh, capping all the gas lines. I actually came in and took care of the electrical panel, um, took out all of the wiring and disconnected it and ran these temporary circuits so that we could have some power. And if we need to get some heat in here, we can run some electric heaters. Uh, this was that second electrical panel, which has all been disconnected as well. And this was that other little, little apartment um, that had the bathroom over in this corner. And this has all been gutted out. There's the old cast iron stack. So that's going to be cracked out. We're going to remove all that because the underpinning is starting and we're going to be removing all of the floor, dropping the basement height down to about eight feet. Right now it's about six and a half feet. So we're gonna be adding two more feet of, of area down here. And you can see these brick walls, we're picking up the structure of the main floor. These brick walls will be removed. They'll be replaced by a wooden wall, two by six wall with a strip footing that goes right down the middle. So as you can see, the house has gone through quite a transformation. Uh, we're excited about what comes next, that's underpinning. And I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole underpinning process and show you how that works. If you missed the first video in this series, I'll link it right up here and you can check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of the property after it's been demoed. There's gonna be lots of different phases through this renovation, but this is a big one. This is really now we get to see what's going on in this property and what we're up against in terms of how we're gonna restructure everything and how we're gonna put this building back together as eight units. So if you guys enjoyed the session today, hey, do me a favor. All I'm asking of you is that you hit that like button. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon. And as you can tell, it's cold in here because of my breath is showing up in this video. So I'm going to get out of here, get back into my warm truck, and I'll see you guys very soon.